Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tristan Barracks here, The Digital Storyteller, and I'm super excited to bring to you another episode of Cinecut, where we will be talking about the subscription membership options for the music bed. What? Music bed? Music bed ain't got no subscriptions. Music bed has subscriptions? You lying. Yes, I, I meant what I said. The music bed, the, the, the most immaculate, uh, best um, music licensing site on the planet, music bed now, allows you to subscribe and pay a monthly fee, which is super cheap and super dope. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about that today. All right, let's go, woo! So, like I was saying before, there is an exciting, exciting, exciting new development within the world of music licensing, and that is that Musicbed, the premier place to get all of your dope, dope uh, music licenses, is finally getting into the subscription game. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, there is a God! I'm so glad that they finally came to their senses and realized that they were losing a lot of the market share and they needed to join the party of subscription-based music licensing. Shout out to my homie, Matt Johnson from Dallas, Texas, who actually has a dope video. I'll leave the link in the bio uh, that goes through all the details of some of the new features. He actually uh, put me onto this, this new development. And after seeing his video, I jumped on board, started my subscription with Musicbed, but I want to share my take on some of the pros and some of the cons of this particular uh, licensing subscription. So here's some of the things I think are super dope about the new Music Bed subscription membership. First thing is, it's finally affordable. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. No, honestly, I I'm not exaggerating. Um, I was a big fan, still are, am a big fan of the Music Bed, but one of the most um, excruciating things about uh, working with the music, music bed is how restrictive their licensing was for what you were paying. So let's say for instance, you want to license a few songs for a wedding film you were creating. Uh, back in the day before this membership subscription, you would have to pay anywhere between, you know, 70 to, to 100 American dollars, and I'm in Canada, so that's more like 80 to $120 for one license or one song. And, and you could only use it for that project. You couldn't use it for multiple uh, platforms, for multiple projects. But now with this membership subscription, you can pay as little as $8.33. I mean, think about it, $8.33 a month for the cost of one coffee and a donut. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Like, it's just super, super, super cheap. And I mean, it goes as high as about $100. So even on the top end, for commercial stuff, for, for things that you're doing on national campaigns and things of that nature, you're gonna be paying anywhere between $100, maybe $120, $130 at the top end per month. And if you pay that, let's say, all together at once, you pay for your whole year, it's gonna be even cheaper because they'll actually reduce the, the fee for you. The second thing I love about the Musicbed subscription is the flexibility. Now, I did touch on that the last point, but I, I really wanna kind of drive home this point of the fact that, listen, if you're just a YouTuber, if you just wanna have dope music just for you, your YouTube videos and your YouTube following, then you don't have to spend $100 a month. You don't have to spend $1,000 for a song. You can spend as little as $8.99 or $9 for, for Canadians, and you can have access to pretty much the whole library that Musicbed has to offer. That's dope. And, and the thing that's even crazier about that is that they won't charge you more for the membership sub subscription until you break through to another level or another plateau of followers or subscribers. Meaning, if you only have a small um, following, let's say 500 or 600 like I do, then you're gonna pay the basic subscription fee. You're not gonna pay the same fee or the same rate as let's say a Peter McKinnon or a, a Maddie would because they have a larger following, so they pay a little bit more because they have a, large, a larger base. But even with them, the rate that they're paying based upon the, the platform that they have, it's very affordable even for them. I love how Musicbed was really listening to what people were complaining about, the feedback that their clients had, that people had in terms of using their product and their service, and they really tried to infuse as much 
of that customer experience and, and the customer demands as they possibly could. Listen, I, I've, I've made a review a long time ago of the seven um, music websites that I go to that sh everybody should, should look into, should try to use. I'll leave the link below or you can click on the link above here. And I'm telling you, Musicbed is, is high on my list. It was the first sort of music licensing website that actually had co cool music. Music that you would hear, you know, on the radio, you would hear online. Just music that was out there. It just sounded like music that was out there by real artists. And that's something that they pride themselves on is that they represent real artists that are doing their thing. Uh, now, I may have some qualms about the genre, the balance of genres. Like, I feel like some genres for the music bed are really filled out, whereas other genres are, are kind of thin and, and kind of skinny, but I think they're still working to really grow each genre so it's a real robust library. That aside, almost everything that I've heard on the music bed is super high-end, super high commercial level quality. And the fourth reason why I think this music bed subscription is super dope is because of their new software called Sync ID. Now essentially what Sync ID does is it works in tandem with your license. So when you download a song off of Musicbed through your membership and you add it to a project, so you create a wedding film or you create a vlog or you create a commercial and you post it up to your YouTube channel or you post it up to your Vimeo or you post it somewhere online, YouTube will automatically flag the video and say, this content belongs to somebody else namely the artist that's connected with Musicbed. Now all you have to do is use the tag that Musicbed has given you inside of the posted video description and then Sync ID will do the rest. It, the flag will be taken off and you're good to go. How dope is that? The first negative in my opinion is the tiered pricing. Now for the past two, two and a half years, I've been using licensing memberships for a whole plethora of different music websites. And the one thing that I love about those websites is that I pay one price. I know what that price is every year. If it goes up, they inform me and I pay that one price, that set price for the year and I can use that music for anything. I can use it for a personal project. I can use it for a wedding. I can use it for a bar mitzvah. I can use it for a birthday party. I can use it for commercial. Doesn't matter. I just have to identify what purpose I'm using that song for and, and I still pay the same price. I don't wanna have to be messing around with, with different tiers and different levels and oh, this is a wedding and this is a personal vlog and this is a commercial and this is this non -for, for profit and this is for profit and I don't care. Just just make an average um, music bed, create an average and just pick a price. The second negative for me is that it costs more to do more. And what I mean by that is, I don't wanna have to think about, okay, well, if I use this song for my vlog, then I don't have to pay $10 a month. But if I use this song now for my wedding video, I now I have to pay $60 a month. It's like, it's just helter skelter. Or have pro level pricing versus non pro level pricing. That would work a lot better for me because then I could just pick the higher one and then everything would come under that. But the fact that like it costs more for the same exact content, that just, for me, I don't really like that. The other thing is, is that if I'm a dude that just last month paid $1,000 uh, for one commercial license of one song, and now this month the membership fee has come out and I could, I could have paid $100 for that same song, I would be kind of upset about that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, again, th this may be nitpicking. You may disagree with me. Please, I would love to hear your comments below. But I just think that, that for me, they need to be a little bit more clear about it. The third negative, in my opinion, is that you don't get all of the Musicbed library. You only get the Musicbed library of the artists that have allowed for their music to be a part of the membership subscription service. But if they're not a part of the membership option, you still have to pay the, the normal standard licensing fee. So if that's one song is 120 bucks, you have to pay 120 bucks in addition to your membership fee, which is $120, whatever, whatever it is. What would be really great is that the whole library would be available to you if you are a member, obviously with different stipulations, but still, it kind of sucks that certain artists are a part of this subscription service and other artists are not. 
And obviously that's probably their personal choice, but that definitely is a negative for me at least. Now the fourth and last negative is kind of a mixed area for me. And that is because you have to register your social media profiles with the music bed, meaning you have to send them a link to your YouTube channel as well as your Instagram, and that's how they follow or, or calculate and calibrate your membership based upon your followers and your subscribers, which is fine. But again, it's kind of like I don't know if I want a, you know another company kind of following me. It's kind of the same thing that you have to do with Epidemic Sound, but the music bed is is, is just trying to control the way that it's licensing, licensing the music and the way that they're protecting their artists. So I understand that. Now, before we go, I just made a quick reel for you just so that you can sample some of the music that comes from the music bed. I'm serious when I tell you it's dope. Check it out. And that ends another episode of Seneca with your host, me, Tristan Barracks. I hope you learned something and you laughed out loud too. Until the next time, stay cool, stay blessed, and stay creative. Peace.